Mr. Fax. The initial creator of Star Trek got his ashes sent into space. There's a quasar holding a massive reservoir of water. Observable about 12 billion light years away, this quasar contains an estimated 140 trillion times the amount of water found on Earth. The bone mineral density of astronauts often decreases. When spending a long time in space, astronauts are known to experience a significant decrease in the strength of their bones. In some cases, it's a permanent loss. This bone degradation leads to the formation of kidney stones. And kidney stones is an absolute killer for a spaceflight mission. When we have a kidney stone patient in space, we would bring back the entire crew. So imagine you fly to Mars, you wouldn't bring somebody back. How do you treat a kidney stone on a mission to Mars? So you see there's lots to learn. Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky viewed from Earth. Several planets have massive volcanoes that spew water. These are known as cryovolcanoes. Just taking very simple ice compounds, how do you make ice behave like rock to form mountains and glaciers and valleys and volcanic systems? There are many different ways for ice and slush and, and cryomagma to reach the surface. We're realizing it's, it's not a clear cut uh, process whatsoever. What pushes that underlying material to spew forth? Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for more facts and peace.